Anybody going into farming thinks about predial arson, thinks about the theft. You can lose your entire crop, your entire investment. So whether it, it's crops or it's, it's, it's um, livestock, you always run a big risk of losing that. So it's, it's costing the farmers, it's costing government lots, and it's for the Ministry of Agriculture, I think it's one of the most talked about problems because it's so pervasive. Being a farmer in Jamaica for the past 20 odd years, mm, quite a long time. The greatest problem we have as a farmer is farmer stealing from farmers. It can devastate a farming family. They would sell certain animals in order to pay the school fee for their children. A farmer has two or three cows and get up one morning and find that all three cows have been stolen. It means that his child or children may not be able to attend school. Code for the Caribbean is a partnership between um, Mona School of Business, uh, the Slash Rose Foundation, and um, RADA, the Rural Agricultural Development Authority. And the program is designed to help government to serve citizens better. So what it does is that it brings together developers, designers, um, we call them technologists, who also have social interests. RADA is the extension delivery service for the government of Jamaica. It is the main technical delivery service for the agricultural pursuit of the entire country. When persons are transporting produce on the street, they are expected to be transporting the produce with a receipt that tells you where the farm is located at the produce. It carries the receipt number, the farmer's re registration number. So it's difficult, one, to catch the person, um, two, when the person is caught, to charge them. And we say what program, um, what software we could develop that would have a good impact, meaningful impact, we decided to go with Clip. Because what would Clip does now, Clip would allow you to use your text, your cell phone, to just send a message and receive information from a database system. When the police sends a text message, it connects to the database. And then he will get back whether the person has a valid receipt book when traveling with the goods on the road, which it would be much faster than you calling a control center to get the information. With the use of technology, it is going to expand and it's going to make the job of the police much easier in terms of accessing information relating to farmers and to help to solve the problem of predial larceny. This innovation, this association, our partnership, have saved rather millions of dollars. Because the fellas came in, all, it, all we provided them was a space to work from, and we have learned from them. That level of consultancy, if we were to have hired it, would run into millions of US dollars to provide the same level of expertise. So we saved the money and we gained knowledge. I think it, it, it's, we can make our government better. We can make our neighborhoods better. Or we can make our schools better. We can make the experience of being a citizen in this country better. What's next for Code for the Caribbean? I think it's a combination of looking at, you know, well, what's come out of this pilot fellowship program and working with the different partners to really implement it on a larger scale.